I'm gonna try to create an app in three days using no code tool. In the last video, I did the market research and we saw that the demand peaks in January. So I have to act fast and I'm already late. There's another problem. I'm not a developer. I want to find out if someone like me, a non-developer, can create a functioning app. On top of that, I'm starting from scratch. I will take you through the entire process from ideation, design, and development. By the end, we will have a functioning prototype without writing a single line of code. I'm creating a planner app. And the first step is, well, planning. After that, we have to get clear on what we are going to build. The process looks like brain dumping everything on paper, then organizing it to find connection between different aspects. With that, we can identify what must be included and how the whole app should function. I will be creating a mobile app because of one must have feature, reminder notification. Before I go any further, I'm gonna do a feasibility check because I don't even know yet which no-code tool can I use. Looking at the no-code tool landscape, there are many categories of products you can build, ranging from web application to mobile application, even no-code backends, and everything in between. Since I'm going with a mobile app, among these three platforms, Flutterflow seems to be the most mature. You can create an app that behaves just like a native app for both Android and iOS. I was hoping to get wireframe for the whole app done by now, but I'm far from it. I need to move faster. I'm brainstorming how the UI could look, given the functionality we want. Here is about coming up with as many alternatives as possible, then picking which one is the best to go with. I'm way behind my plan. I thought I would be done with the UI design yesterday, but I only got to wireframe. And actually I'm not happy with the wireframe I have. Yeah, I'm starting to question my sanity. Why did I pick Three days. <laughs> anyway, so what I'm gonna do next is the UI design. Because we are short on time, I'm not going to create the entire design for every screen. I will just do a few screens so we have a direction on where we want to go. That should at least help me taste the main user flows and see if the overall concept holds up. This current design that I have is not the best. But we are out of time. We, we, we have to start implementing. Otherwise, <laughs> otherwise we're not gonna make it. So I'm gonna leave it at that for now. Yeah. So, I found this tutorial. In this series, we're going to build a to-do app. But this is going to be a bit different from other to-do apps because we're not only going to build the UI and the logic, but also integrate a Firebase database and authentication all in just two hours. Maybe there's hope after all. So, I'm going to start by following the tutorial and then adapt it to my own version. kind of working. So let me show you what we got. You can sign up and this is linked to the backend using Firebase where we store user data. You can add tasks and check them off. A basic to-do app. But it's far from what I wanted. So the next step 
is to use my own data structure. It's a bit more complicated than this. And to improve the UI, <laughs> to make it look closer to the design. I was really struggled last night. Just could not figure out why it was not working as I wanted. But I think I now know what I have to do. I figure out that I misunderstood the data structure. If you're used to traditional relational databases, on the NoSQL world, things are a little different. So I spent some time learning about NoSQL database and implemented the data structure I wanted. Check this out, it's working. <laughs> but <laughs> it's the ugliest thing I ever made and probably the ugliest thing I ever seen. <laughs> but it's working. You can create a vision. For your vision, you can have sprints. Within a sprint, you can create multiple goals. And for each goal, you have actions. It's extremely ugly. But it's working. <laughs> That's a great milestone to achieve. Well, the next step is to make it look better, to actually make it function. As in, you can name stuff, you can set other properties like due date. That's what I'm going to do next. It's so bad. <laughs> so I managed to add more input field. So you can actually name your item, you can name your goals, you can set due date. But it's, it's bad, it's just bad. The user interface design is terrible. Far from the design I made in Figma. It's feasible for sure to make it like that. It just would require more time. And the user experience is terrible. It's beyond terrible. <laughs> for me, this is not even good enough to be a prototype. Did I just waste three days? <laughs> so. I think it's possible to create a functioning prototype with no code tools. It will definitely take more than three days if you are starting from scratch and if you haven't done something like this before. But this is not working for me. I feel like even if I spend two weeks or even four, I still wouldn't be happy with the outcome. For me, this is not worth it. If you know nothing about coding, you will face a tough learning curve because you still need to understand the basics like data structure, how the front end communicate with the back end. Without that, you're going to struggle. Even if you have some coding knowledge, I wouldn't recommend it. It doesn't feel robust enough. I wouldn't bet my future on it. So it's a no for me. The biggest learning for me was I'm not willing to compromise on quality. It's literally hurt. <laughs> I really don't know what I was thinking, taking three days. <laughs> I have decided that I will learn to code. So check out this video to see my learning how to code journey. <laughs>